Florida's huge snake population. Identification of every species of snake here in Florida and their record length. Hey, I'm Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy. In this video, I want everybody to be able to identify all of the different snake species found here in Florida. This one right here, does anybody know what that snake species is? You guessed it, that's the yellow rat snake. He's sensing his environment right now with that tongue flickering. They have a forked tongue that allows them to sense their environment. This video is to be used as an educational tool to help people identify snakes and understand the difference in venomous and non-venomous to bring a bigger appreciation for venomous and non-venomous species. Hopefully helping people understand that even venomous snake species have their purpose here in Florida. So make sure you all subscribe to my channel. I do lots of wildlife videos, lots of identification videos, snake identification, and I plan on doing a lot of reptiles and other animals and stuff in Florida. So if you ever come to Florida, you pretty much know what you're getting into. The Apalachicola Lowlands King Snake, commonly known as the Florida King Snake, with a record size of 56.1 inches long. The Atlantic Salt Marsh Snake, with an average size of less than 20 inches and the record being 24 inches long. The Bandit Water Snake transitions to a darker color as it matures, with a record length of 60 inches long. This is a girthy snake. The Black Pine Snake, with a record length of 89 inches long. The black racer transitions from a well camouflaged juvenile into a solid black adult with a record length of 72 inches. I filmed several videos on this channel of black racers so feel free to go back and check out some of those previous videos. This snake is commonly dubbed the fastest snake in the United States. The black swamp snake is an elusive snake to which I've only caught one with a record length of 18.5 inches long. The blind snake is a small subterranean species, usually not reaching more than 6.5 inches in length, so there's no established record length for this species. The blue striped garter snake has a record length of 39.25 inches. It is quite a stunning specimen. I have another video on my channel, just scroll down through the videos and you can check out that video on this specific specimen right here. The blue striped ribbon snake is a close relative to the garter snake. They tend to be longer and slender and don't feature as much checkerboard pattern with a record length of 30 inches. The brown chin racer has an average length of 26 to 62 inches long. It is a semi-arboreal species and closely related to the black racer. The brown water snake is an aquatic species with a record length of 69.5 inches long. The crown snake is a small leaf litter species with a record length of only 9.5 inches long. This snake makes me change my opinion about Florida snakes because it's actually considered mildly venomous. Even though it doesn't have enough venom to possess any real threat, it's interesting that it is actually a little bit venomous. The corn snake is one of four species of rat snakes we have here in Florida with a record length of 72 inches. I have another video on this specimen right here. The largest snake I ever caught was the coach whip with a record length of 102 inches long. You can see how his black head transitions into that whip like tail. The copperhead is a copper colored snake with a bright yellow tail at a young age. It is a venomous species with a record length of 53 inches long. The quarrel snake is a brightly colored snake that is a venomous species. It is often confused with a scarlet king snake or scarlet snake with a record length of 53.5 inches long. The cottonmouth is commonly seen around waterways. It is a venomous snake species with a record length of 74.5 inches long. This is a girthy snake. The glossy crayfish snake is another snake that loves waterways. It has a record length of 31 inches the Decay's brown snake is a leaf litter species with only a record length of 16 inches long. One of the most iconic snakes is the Diamondback Rattlesnake. It is a venomous snake species with a record length of 96 inches long, being in the top five for a large indigenous snake species. The Dusky Pygmy Rattlesnake is a venomous snake species with only a record length of 31 inches long. It's no question why they call it a Pygmy Rattlesnake. The Eastern Garter Snake has a record length at 48.75 inches long. It is one of the few snakes that are truly green in color. The Eastern Hognose Snake has a record length of 45.5 inches long. 
and often is confused with pygmy rattlesnakes. This is the largest filmed eastern mud snake with a record length of 81.5 inches long. There is a reported specimen bigger than the one you see here, but it was never filmed. You can find that video by typing in the largest filmed eastern mud snake. The Everglades rat snake has a record length of 90 inches long and is quite stunning and very closely related to the yellow rat snake. The gray rat snake is an arboreal species with a record length of 84.25 inches long. The green water snake is an aquatic species with a record length of 74 inches long. The gulf salt marsh snake has a record length of 36 inches long. It is a stunning black and yellow in color. The largest indigenous snake species and perhaps the king of all snake species here in Florida, at least the indigenous ones, is the indigo snake with a record length of 103.5 inches long. The mangrove salt marsh snake has a record length of 36.75 inches long and is often seen black or red. The midland water snake is closely related to the banded water snake and has a record length of 59 inches long. The mole king snake has a record length of 47 inches long. The northern red-bellied snake has a close relation to the ringneck snake and is actually considered mildly venomous, but not enough venom to cause any real threat. The peninsula ribbon snake has a record length of 40 inches long. I have another video on my channel from this specimen here. The pine snake is often seen in gray or black variations with a record length of 89 inches long. The pine wood snake is a leaf litter species that is actually considered mildly venomous and only has a record length of 15.75 inches long. There's another video on my channel of these three specimens we caught. The plain belly water snake has a record length of 62 inches long. The queen snake is a water snake, often seen perched on logs, rocks, or lily pads, with a record length of only 36 inches long. The ringneck snake species is considered a mildly venomous snake species, but doesn't possess any real threat to humans or animals. On average, no longer than 6 inches long, so there's no established record length for this snake species. The rough earth snake is a leaf litter species with a record length of 12.75 inches long. The rough green snake is the only snake that is truly primarily green in color. It is a long, slender, arboreal species, which means it spends most of its time in the tree canopy. If you look back on my channel, you'll see other videos on this specimen or this species. The record length is 45.4 inches long. It is usually just overlooked as a green vine or just some vegetation, and it's kind of a lucky sight if you see one. The Scarlet King Snake is one of the most brilliantly colored snakes here in Florida with red, black, and yellow being the primary colors. It is often confused with the Quarrel Snake and has a record length of 27 inches long. I have other videos on my channels of this specimen right here, so be sure to go back and look for those. The Yellow Rat Snake has a record length of 90 inches long. Be sure to go back and look for my other videos on this species. And last but not least, the yellow bellied water snake with a record length of 59 inches long. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel so y'all can see more great snake videos. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, Shows like the Crocodile Hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.